Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads. This is first grade, session 21. Special celebrations. Look at the pictures of food we share at special celebrations. On the line below each picture, write what we celebrate when we eat that food. The word bank will help you right here. Just use each word once. Using that, we'll think about the liturgy of the Mass. The liturgy of the Word is the first half of the Mass. We hear the written Word of God and the liturgy of the Word. We also pray together as God's people. The liturgy of the Word has many parts. Let's learn about some of these most important parts. There are readings from the Scripture. Sunday Masses have four readings from Scripture. The first reading, usually a Bible reading from the Old Testament. The Responsorial Psalm, a psalm is a song meant to be sung in worship. There are 150 psalms in the Old Testament. At Mass, the leader invites us to sing a line from the psalm. The second reading is a reading from the New Testament other than the Gospels. The Gospel is a reading from one of the four Gospels in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. The Gospels tell the story of Jesus' life. They are the most important part of the Liturgy of the Word, which is why we stand during the Gospel. The homily, the priest teaches us about the readings from the Bible. The profession of faith, together as a church, we stand and pray out loud what we believe. The prayer of the faithful, together as a church, we pray out loud for our needs and the needs of the world. If you'd like to do the crossword puzzle, you may, uh, but we're going to be skipping that as a requirement. Same thing with that sign. Here's a picture of the Last Supper, a painting, which is the first mass. The second half of Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist. The Liturgy of the Eucharist is the heart of the Mass. We receive Christ in his body and blood. The Liturgy of the Eucharist has many parts. Let's learn about some of the most important parts. There's offertory. The bread and wine are brought to the altar as gifts. They will become Jesus' body and blood. We also give money to help the church and, and for the poor. The priest gets the altar ready and prays over the gifts. The Eucharistic Prayer has a few parts. The priest prays a special prayer of thanksgiving. He asks the Father to send his Holy Spirit to bless the bread and wine. Then the priest repeats the words of Jesus at the Last Supper. The bread becomes the body of Christ, and the wine becomes the blood of Christ. Then we have the Holy, 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 where the Church praises God. We have the mystery of faith. The Church prays that we believe that the Eucharist is the real body and blood of Christ. We have the Lord's Prayer, which the Church prays the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. We have a sign of peace, and we may offer others a sign of Christ's peace. The Lamb of God, the Church prays for the mercy and peace of Christ, and then we receive Holy Communion. We pray, we may go up to the altar and receive the Eucharist. This moment is the highest point of our Christian worship. Then you may skip this uh, last section if you'd like, or if you like unscrambling words, you can do that as well. Uh, parents, I would uh, recommend or invite you to uh, practice celebrating Mass at home just um, by way of pretending and playing. It's a great way to learn about the different parts of the Mass. God bless you. Have a beautiful week.